The following program is a paid commercial program. Views expressed belong to its participants and are not necessarily those of the management and staff of News Channel 11. Hello, come on in. Let's cook together. Well, as you know, February is right around the corner and Valentine's Day is coming up soon. So I thought we'd talk about Valentine's meal. And Valentine's is on Friday this year. So my food for thought on that is, well, you know, if you work, you might want to not feel like going out to eat after you've gotten off work. So this is a wonderful meal that you could prepare at home. And it could be for two people, four people, just according. We're going to make blackened salmon today. Now you could use any kind of fish that you like, but I chose a salmon. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little butter in our skillet. Now you do need to remember that it will smoke. If you've gotten your skillet hot enough, it will smoke. And then I have some blackening seasoning. Now you can pick and choose any kind that you like. You could even use Obey and just a little bit of pepper. You do not have to use just a seasoning itself. Now it is spicy, so if you are sort of touchy about spicy foods, then I would suggest not put a lot on it. But anyways, I'm gonna rub this in, and then we're gonna put it in our skillet. When you go to put this in the skillet, uh, you need to put the flat side down or the skin side down. Now this recipe, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. It's just according to the uh, thickness of your salmon. All right, we're gonna put that in there. And uh, I have also, let me move this fresh dill out of the way. I have some yellowfin tuna. So we're just gonna lay this in the skillet and we have a honey and teriyaki sauce, which is only a fourth a cup of teriyaki and a half a cup of honey. Of course, I have a little bit more in there. So we're gonna lay that in there. And this recipe that I have on that black and uh, salmon came from Brian. And I was so excited to get that because you know I have been requesting all these wonderful recipes from folks. And so it just tickled me to death that he sent me that recipe. And so we're doing that today. So that means that he is going to get a free sandwich here at the deli. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this glaze on there. But I do still want you all to continue to send me your recipes uh, on my Facebook or, you know, feel free to uh, mail me something. Just do it the old fashioned way, you know? I'm, that's sort of how I am. I like to do everything old school. So we have got this cooking and what will happen is it will get golden brown and then you're gonna flip it about 10 minutes after that. Now, you can do this outside on your grill because it does smoke. Or if you've got a uh, fan overhead your stove, I would suggest because the longer that it cooks, the more smoke that you would get in your house. And so, either way. But, so you could use your skillet or whatever that you like. I have also, uh, I like steamed vegetables. And so I um, have got some steamed vegetables that I'm going to uh, accompany that with and also a wonderful salad. That would be the perfect meal for your Valentine's. And you've not been in the kitchen all evening after you've got off work to do that. So we're going to go ahead and flip this. And as you can see, it has wonderful color and it doesn't take that long. And on the yellowfin tuna, if you like yours like rare, then just, you know, just put it in there long enough to get it a little bit color and then set it off on your plate. Now I have some already over here prepared that to show you that what it would look like. And what I have done here is my salad is just mixed greens with some fresh cherry tomatoes and option of uh, red onions. They're a little bit sweeter. You wouldn't have to put those on there if you didn't want to. And we just sprinkle some cheese. This is our salmon. And then this here is our yellowfin tuna. Also, I have our vegetables that I would accompany that with, maybe in a little side dish. So folks, it's not gonna be long. That train's gonna be blowing that whistle and I'm gonna have to head out the door. So please come see me at the whistle stop. Bye.